August 1st marks the birthday of Yves Saint Laurent, so let's look at the perfume history of the designer. And this first part will be his early life, and then part two, I'll get to the actual perfumes. Yves Saint Laurent was born in 1936 in Algeria, North Africa, to French parents. His great-grandfather had first immigrated to Algeria in 1870, and the Saint Laurent family were mostly judges and bankers, and socialized with other affluent French families. According to his mother, he took an interest in fashion from the earliest age. She said, Yves was always interested in fashion. When he was three years old, he cried because he didn't like my dress, and we bought all the papers, Vogue, L'Illustration, and La Jardin de Mode. He was prolific in drawing and sketching, and my English major heart was so pleased that baby Yves Saint Laurent designed an illustrated book for Madame Bovary. When he was about 14 years old, his mother took him to the theater where he saw The School for Wives. He was enamored with the costuming and dreamed of becoming a costume designer. So to practice, he started creating paper dolls. He made more than 500 garments and accessories for 11 dolls, and these dolls were basically cutouts of famous models from his mother's fashion magazines, and then he would design clothes for them. When he was 17, he entered a design competition, winning third place in dresses, and the next year his designs won first and third place. And funny note here, one of the people Yves Saint Laurent beat in this competition was none other than Karl Lagerfeld. This attracted notice of a Vogue editor who advised Saint Laurent to move to Paris and enroll in fashion school. And they kept up a correspondence, and the editor was impressed when he received sketches from Saint Laurent that were very similar to unreleased sketches of Christian Dior's upcoming collection. He showed the sketches to Dior, and Dior met with Yves, who was barely 18, and hired him on the spot. At Dior, baby Yves Saint Laurent did everything from acting as Dior's assistant to decorating his shops. Dior even let him try his hand at designing and credited him with designing 34 of the 180 looks from the 1957 collection. In August of 1957, Dior had a meeting with Saint Laurent's mother and told her that he wanted Yves to succeed him at his fashion house when he died. And she thought that was weird because Dior was only 52, but if you remember from my series on Dior, he was into psychics and one had predicted that he would die young. When Christian Dior did die in October 1957, 21-year-old Yves Saint Laurent became the head designer at Dior. With only a few months to prepare for the spring-summer collection, he couldn't even grieve his mentor and had to throw himself into work preparing. Yves took two weeks to visit his family in Algeria and came back to Paris with more than 600 drawings for the collection. As I've talked about in my Dior videos, Dior's new look was a reaction to scarcity during World War II. Yves Saint Laurent at the helm, Dior went from these ultra-feminine A-line silhouettes with tons of fabric to the trapeze line, which was much lighter and more fluid. Okay, follow for part two, where we'll get into the beginning of YSL and how he set himself up part from his mentor when it came to perfume.